Okay, everyone. I'm your host today, Meredith, and we are standing in front of the Postal Service of Providence Oaks. I am Meredith, and this here is my little white truck named Goose. And together, we are going around the town of Providence Oaks to deliver mails, package, but not your ex buddies. Thank you. Over and out. <laughs> Alright. Okay, mortals, and welcome back. Today, we are going to be continuing our lake playthrough. <laughs> yes, and as mentioned, we will be delivering mails, package, yes, but unfortunately, we do not have the service to deliver your ex buddies to your house. I'm so sorry. All right. And okay, let me check what I should do for today. Um, okay, this is the classic moment of me mistaking buttons to press. Mm -hmm. And today we have a lot of meals but less parcels. Whew, can you feel like your introvert self being happy because usually delivering letters would just require you to go up to someone's mailbox and put the mail inside that. But when it comes to package, it's like another story, okay? You might have to speak with the owner. Because most of the time, you have to speak with the customer, with the one who ordered the package. So right now, seeing that we only have three parcels to deliver, makes my introvert side happy, okay? That means like, whew, my social battery is safe. We're not going to waste a lot of social battery. And oh gosh, I forgot that we had a new supervisor with us. This um, sir right here, this glasses sir, and he is looking at us. Okay. Uh, th did he just. Is he challenging us to a staring contest? Oh, bring it on, bring it on. Uh huh. There is no way I'm going to bow down to him when it comes to staring contest. I mean, he's staring at us, okay? He's looking at us with those two stern eyes, four stern eyes, and we are not going to lose, okay? We have to assert our dominance against our stern streak supervisor, okay? Ooh, you are actually a hard, difficult opponent, sir. Okay. Tick-tock, 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 tick-tock. Oh, no. Meredith, why are you looking at your hands? You lose, okay? Oh, my God. Meredith, you have to stare at him, okay? Stare. That's the only way for you to get promotions, Meredith. You have to stare at him, okay? Assert your dominance. Show your superiority, Meredith. <sighs> okay, I guess, I guess we are stuck with being a male woman for now. And let's just talk to our supervisor, Walter Morgan. Yes. I wonder if the Oregon Trail Motel has room service. Mm-hmm. I wonder if Oregon has a room service. You are asking for a room service, sir? I'm so sorry, but I don't think that model has a, a room service. Because you know what? You know why? You know why? Because the guy taking care of the model is dating his own PC. Okay, and you know how it goes when a guy has a date. He prioritizes his date over everything. And that's what happened with him as well. There is no room service in Oregon Motel, sir. There is only South Service, okay? But yes, hello, Goose. Did you miss me? I'm sure you miss me, right? Because today we are going to go for another delivery journey. Translation, it means another crashing journey. <laughs> All right, let's get inside Top our of the Thursday goose. morning, P.O. Mm -hmm. We don't have any callers today, so I'll bring up one of my own pet peeves. 
Okay. The idiotic plans for pedestrianization of Main Street. It's... Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, don't get me started or I won't even have time for the weather. Speaking of, a few clouds early on, but they will be gone soon. Music time. Music time. No, it's ranting time because speaking of pedestrian, I can relate to what he said. The pedestrian in Providence Oaks is just a menace, especially when you are driving a vehicle like me. Okay? Wait, um, is this the house? Hmm. Judging from the minimap position and location and my not so brilliant brain, I would say it is. So let me park you here, Goose. Okay, and let's deliver our mail. Okay. Oh, hello, ma'am. Uh, no, no, you are not going anywhere. No! Take this mail. Oh my god, ma'am. Your mail? Ma'am? Knock, knock. She just ignores me. She just walks off like that. Ma'am, what about your mail? Should I take it myself? No, I don't want to. If it's a bill, there is no way I'm going to pick up that mail, okay? Alright, let's just deliver it to this mailbox. Well, at least you are here, mailbox. At least you are not that like that ma'am. At least you are not ignoring me like that ma'am. Okay, at least you are accepting my letter. Not that ma'am. Yes, not like that ma'am. I guess this is how it feels when you make a love letter and you want to deliver it and the one that you are supposed to be delivering it doesn't want to accept. Yes, maybe this is the kind of feeling. Ha, <laughs> so sad. Alright. Thank you, mailbox, for accepting my letter. Thank you, black mailbox. Alright, let me make a little turn here. Okay, this neighborhood is a little bit tricky because we have so many cars parked beside the street. I think their sole purpose being parked there is just to make my life harder, okay? But yes, let's walk up to one of these cars and let's utilize the language that I just learned yesterday, no? No, but in the previous episode, in the previous videos, we learned that we have the power to communicate between vehicle to vehicles, automobiles to automobiles by using this feature called honking. Thank you. That is my presentation. And that is a way for you to say good morning to your vehicles. Yes to your vehicle's friends. Good morning to you, black car. Mm-hmm. Good morning to you, blue-gray car, blue-gray pickup car, okay? And let me check where am I going next, okay? Let me check. Uh, maybe go to this road first, okay? We have three in this neighborhood, oh my god. It's like they plan to receive a letter together. It's like they're gang up. Oh my god. Don't walk on the street, sir. Move. Yes, go back. Go back. Go back, please. I want to get past this street, okay? This... <laughs> this man, this green clothed man is like another level. He walks in the middle of the street. Please move, sir. Move. Okay, thank you. Oh my god. Oh, is that a ma'am? No, I, I don't know. I, I can't see. I can't see. I don't know. I don't know. But yes, please move, sir, ma'am. Please move, okay? Why are you walking in the middle of the street? Are you looking to me to pay for your life insurance? No, thank you. I'm as poor as I am already, okay? No, I'm not poor. I got an RV. I got an RV in my previous video. I should... Next time, next time, when Meredith's dad called us, we should flex on them. We should flex on our dad. Yeah, dad, 
you might get a vacation to a beach somewhere in the world but at least i got an rv now when we are fighting with each other i can run away from home using that rv is this the house this is the house okay all right letters delivered let me knock on your door knock knock mail's here i don't think anyone's inside though all right wait uh oh i miss out on the house wait is that the house let me just walk by foot <laughs> i i don't want to drive my goose around too much okay i'm afraid that i might crash goose a lot so yeah let's just walk by foot deliver oh no 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 you are not at the mailbox i'm lazy to walk all the way over there i'll just go back to my truck let me just go back to my truck okay oh i have another mail wait wait i see another mailbox that i need to deliver mails to okay good morning to you blue green mailbox is this your letter please tell me it is okay okay letter delivered okay um knock knock gray pickup car please tell your owner please tell your owner that they have a mail delivered to their mailbox thank you all right let's go back to goose where are you goose okay all right you are way over there what are you doing over there goose chatting with that white car over there be nice to each other okay mm -hmm. all right let's go wait i have to make a turn here all right excuse me hong hong good morning to you white car good morning to you gray pickup car oh no 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 not that way okay back up back up all right a little bit okay almost almost crashing to the tree okay no no back up back up all right is there anything behind me oh i can still go okay move forward okay and nice <laughs> Alright, I managed to get past that without crashing into anything. That's a progress. I'm so happy with myself. Okay, wait. Let me park here. Mm -hmm. And let me deliver letters here. Right? Is this the... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wait. Is that... Oh, I see a few mails inside that mailbox already. Which means, which means that either the owner doesn't know that he got mails, or the owner is not home, or this is the start of Netflix true crime documentaries. Yeah, that's the three option that we have right now. I'm I'm just hoping that it's option one. It's option A that he just doesn't know that he got a lot of mails in his mailbox. Okay, and not option three, okay? Alright, let me check my map. Let me see where we are going next, okay? Uh maybe deliver the parcels first to this place. 200 Jackson Street. Okay, 200 Jackson Street. Okay, let's go. Oh no, we are passing by the flick shack. Wait, wait, wait. Let me park my car. Angie! Angie, let's play! Angie, let's ride around! I have an RV! RV! No? No RV time? Oh no, he, she only wants VHS time, not RV time. I'm sad. Okay, let's just continue on. I think I'm going to, yes, deliver the letters. Okay, careful, sir! Okay. Oh my god, the pedestrian in this town, okay? They have too much trust in the vehicle that passed by the road. They have too much trust in me when I don't even trust my own driving skill. And Goose. Goose also doesn't trust my driving skill. Yes. We both... 
do not trust my driving skills. Ooh, wait, wait, let me park here. Okay. Oh, this house has two garage. They're rich. They're rich. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me take out the package. 200 Jackson Street. Alright. Okay. I get that. I have the package in my hand. Alright, wait, wait. Let me do a little analysis of the house. Of the house situation. Just like how a thief always trying to spy on their target first before going in. No, I'm not going to steal anything from the house, of course. I'm just making an analogy. Hmm... Ha ha... I think... I can safely say that no one's at home. Alright, no one's at home, okay? White House looks like one of those that you see in Insidious and... No ghost peeking from that second floor window. Alright, safe. It's an empty house. Okay, let's deliver our package and we will walk from the side lounge. We are not going to walk up to their front door first. Okay. We're going to sneak from their window. Okay, this is tricky. They... They block my view from the window. But I can 100% guarantee that no one's at home. I'll prove it to you, okay? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess nobody's home. I guess I know, ma'am. I know nobody's home. Let me put it here. Mm-hmm. I know nobody's home. I know. I know the characteristic of an empty house. This one looks like an empty house. All right. Okay, let's go. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. At least, at least, our social battery is safe. No conversation for today. At least, we are down one package and our social battery is still intact. <laughs> Alright, so the next one is, okay, a letter. We're just going to turn this here, okay? Let me see which house it is. Um... Is this the house? Is this blue house? Wait, there are two similar mailbox. Wait. Hmm. Oh no, they're both card in blue. Which one is the mailbox of my target? I think this one. I think this one is my target. Mm hmm. Ooh, interesting. No, no. Why is it that it's interesting about that letter? Please tell me, Meredith. I'm curious, okay, when she say like, ooh, interesting, it's like, what did she read that she can say that it's interesting? Is it a blackmail? Please no. Is it a love letter? Is it a tea and what kind of tea? Okay, alright, let me just go straight from here. Alright, and right into this mailbox right here. Oh, I have been here before. I remember that I delivered package to this house. Wait, let me put it here. Mm-hmm. Alright. I remember that I deliver package one time to this place. Wait, this is not a mailbox? Huh? Oh, are you the mailbox? 104, are you the mailbox? Let me check. Oh, you Here's are the mail. mailbox. Okay, I thought it's the house beside it because I remember I call this house beside it the Mafia Base Camp. The Mafia Safe House. <laughs> because it looks like just one of those houses that you will see being inhabited by gangs, villains, mafias, yeah. Alright, let's get inside. I'm I'm making a judgment over how their house look. I'm so sorry, okay? This is what happens when you are a lonely male woman because the girl that you are interested with is apparently going to leave the town. This town that you are staying in and you are sad, 
you are melancholic and right now you don't know what to do and that's what you are doing you are judging everyone's house just from the outside look okay people say don't judge a book by its cover but they never say to not judge a house by its look by its outside look so that's what i'm going to do all right wait uh oh wait isn't that the lady the grandma the cat grandma's house oh she's outside already she's outside already okay which means that she got something for me something for me to do of course okay peeking in from behind the truck i see i see a grandma that is about to working me yes that's about to make me work on something i don't know what it is all right can i creep in from behind this one okay i hope she doesn't notice me okay can i walk from the back yes from this back of the house from this back of the fence no she's looking at me no no i just want to deliver my meals in peace please please let me deliver my meals in peace okay she's not looking can i deliver my meals now okay Shh, cats don't tell her that i'm here okay do not tell her that i'm here creeping oh no she's looking at me she's looking at me okay i'm really close to oh, oh dear. no you're a sight for sore eyes oh hi miss j oh, mildred no. how so mm-hmm um okay is something wrong with the cats again i i'm guessing it's the cats okay i'm guessing it's the cats is something wrong with the cats again it's mm -hmm. just this week mm -hmm. it's all a bit much for me i need to get my hair done for sunday's special evening but mm -hmm. i can't leave my cats alone and then all of a sudden frank has gone missing he still needs to bring me an envelope Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. Huh? No, I'm... I don't understand the meaning of that envelope, okay? Like, what What does that envelope means? Do they have like a special queue communication card between the elderly citizen here? Between the senior citizen here? I don't understand, okay? And, and why is the other option is like, Mildred, are you gambling? What kind of gamble that you can do with a postcard? I'm... Apparently, I still need to learn the way of human. <laughs> because I don't understand what it is that is happening between Mildred, Frank, and Jack Reynolds. I don't understand what happened between these senior citizens. What next? Mr. Mackey? Mr. Mackey is going to receive that postcard as well? Okay, I'll, I'll just ask about that envelope. But mm -hmm. what do you mean he needs to bring you an envelope? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Wait, um... Ma'am? She called me a nosy posy. That's actually right. I'm... But I'm curious, okay? I want to know what it is about the envelope and the senior citizen. I still don't understand what is the problem with the envelope and the senior citizen, the postcard, and why is my... Well, 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 wait, what is his name again? Walter Morgan, yes. Why is Walter Morgan is like so keen on investigating on Frank? But yeah, don't worry. I'm sure Frank will show up again. That is actually my hopium as well. <laughs> because I'm afraid that I'm the one that caused him to go away in the first place. Because I answered Walter Morgan's question. I think how truthfully. <laughs> yes. Don't worry, I'm uh -huh. sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy, 
always making me worry too much. Okay. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. But what if I can't reschedule? Oh, yeah, she's she's trying to get us to not babysit. It's Kai. Oh, no, the meowing. The meowing is distracting me. But yes, she needs us to cat sit. Yes. To look after her cats while she goes to get her hair done for the Sunday evening event. Wait, what is the event again? Uh, the stand, 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 like, like stand up comedy thingy? No? Oh, open mic, open mic, yeah, it's the open mic. But yeah, perhaps I could look after your cats? Cat sitting is fine. Trust me, cat sitting is fine, so yeah. Perhaps I could mm -hmm. look after your cats. Would you, my dear? Mm -hmm. It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Tomorrow night? Yeah, yeah, sure, no trouble at all. Sure, no trouble at all. Oh, thank you so mm -hmm. much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Thank you! I like cookies! I like cookies! I like cats! Okay, cookies and cats starts with C, so I like C words, of course. And... Okay, I think we got a new schedule. We got a new appointment for tomorrow. Yes, watch Mildred's cats. Alright. And let me continue on my way. I think our next destination is probably, probably the gas station. And that means, that means we are going to see our RV as well. Okay, because I remember that, oh, I forgot the name of the couple. Mickey and Nancy, I think they leave the RV. Oh, that's our RV. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Oh, gosh. Okay, actually, now that they're putting it like really, really close to the gas station, I just realized that it's so huge, okay? The RV is really huge. Wait, let me get close to it. Get close, Goose. Meet your... Okay, meet your sister, okay? That is your sister. Let me do one lovely greeting, Hong. Okay. No... I forgot. <laughs> no, I got reset. Okay. Let me move the car a little bit to the gas station. Okay. Still want to... Okay. Crash that a little. Alright. And let me go out. Ooh. This is my RV now. Okay. This is my RV. My name is not Meredith. It's Mer RV. Okay. Mer RV. Oh my god, it looks so huge and so cool. This is my RV now. I'm a rich person now. I'm happy. And let me take out the package while I'm at it and talk to Lori as well. Mm hmm. 300 Lake Road. Okay, 300 Lake Road. Knock knock, Lori. Meredith, mm -hmm. look at this house on wheels. I have no idea where it came from, but it's uh -huh. absolutely rad. Yes? It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. June? You oh, know, yeah. couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight. Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. Oh. Oh, wait. You can have it if you want. Wow. Sh should we give that to Lori? She did mention that she wanted to be going to places, but... I don't know. Could it, could it stay here for a while? Can I, like, try to decide what I want to do with the RV later on? So I'm just going to leave the RV here in the gas station now. Before giving it to Lori, I'm, I'm wondering if we can give it to Lori, like, not right now, but later on. 
I, I don't know what I want yet. Uh -huh. I was hoping it could stay here for a while. Uh -huh. You can tinker on it too. You know I'd love tinkering. Uh -huh. But it's going to need a lot of work. It can stay here for as long as you need. Uh -huh. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, if it's going to be here a while... Uh -huh. I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the sea turtle? Ooh. Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon, <laughs> because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... No, no. No, the problem here is that, is that, the problem here is actually how she just roasted my RV in, in those names, okay? The raccoon, because it's brown and it gets a lot of trash. That is what she says to my RV. I am offended, okay, Lori? I mean, I know, I know the previous owner probably left a lot of trash inside, but that is my RV now oh gosh I'm glad that I do not give the RV to her because she just roasted goose sister okay they are sister now they are vehicle sister and I do not accept anyone roasting my goose sister like that okay although I'm hoping that I can name it like a duck so it will be one is goose and one is duck but the option is just for the sea turtle raccoon or hermit shell hmm you know what i think i'll go with the raccoon <laughs> despite the description that it is full of trash but it does in some kind of way looks like a raccoon it has like the same color i don't know about the sea turtle though I never look, I never like see sea turtle and I don't know what color sea turtle has. And the hermit shell, mm, I don't know, I'm not feeling it. I'm more on the naming your vehicles with animal names. Actually, that is brilliant, okay? That is something that I learned from this game from Lori and I think I would apply it to real life if I have vehicles myself as well, okay? All right, raccoon. The raccoon. Mm -hmm. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. See you later, Lori, Loracoon. <laughs> I'm Meredith, Mer RV. Or, well, I can actually be Mer Raccoon now as well. Loracoon and Meracoon. We both use the raccoon. I'm, I'm actually considering on giving it to her. To Lori, can I do that like later on? Like, not right now? Or is that the only chance I have to give Lori the RV? Alright, goodbye, good sister, goodbye, raccoon. Okay, I have to get back on the road. Wait, I, I don't know what is the last one. Wait, where's my last package? 139 Raven. Oh no, no. I know that way of naming. It is the cabin in the wood, isn't it? Oh gosh, it is the cabin in the woods. No, that's so fun. And so secluded. Oh gosh. And I'm alone right now. Because last time, last time, Dung Dung has experienced. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to tell a story here. Move away. Because last time, I bring Dung Dung on a drive with me. And I think he got traumatized driving together with me. Oh. Whew. Almost hit that electric pole. Safe, safe. And yes, he refused to join me in this one. So today, I will be driving mails and parcels all alone by myself. Although we have Goose, of course, with us. But yeah, so sad. It is so sad that I'm here alone. And it is so, so accidentally that I have to go inside the camping ground. 
Oh, I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. I hate, I hate that place, okay? It looks so creepy. And, and maybe because I watch too much horror game and horror movie that takes place in the woods. And with all of those camping feels like that, that I'm becoming really, really anxious at the thought of having to enter well similar looking kind of wood okay wait is this the place yeah this is the place all right prepare yourself goose for the crashing that might happen because i get too much anxiety wait let me honk at the deer inside the forest Mail truck coming in. Do not run in front of the mail truck, okay? I don't... Oh, 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 okay. That's one crash. That is still one crash, okay? We are like 30 minutes into this recording and that is my first crash. That is progress, okay? That is definitely a progress. You guys should be happy, okay? <sighs> All right. We are entering the forest. We are entering this forest and it is dark. Not really dark. We still have sun shining down upon us and I took the wrong way. Back up, back up. Okay, I took the wrong way. I should be going in here. All right, and turn left in here. Okay, anything, anything, no? It's safe, right? As long as I'm inside the goose, I'm safe, okay? If there is any Jason coming out to attack me, I can ram them down with goose, okay? Oh, oh gosh! <gasps> Let me go to the mailbox and leave for the letter. Wait, huh? Wait, wait, wait. Why is it... Why... Oh my god, it's a parcels! I forgot! <laughs> I forgot it's a parcel! I used to like one look at the mailbox and my brain just goes like Oh yeah, letters, letters, let's just deliver letters and be quick That That is what I was thinking, I did not... Oh my god, I did not remember that I was supposed to deliver parcels instead of letters Oh gosh Okay, all right, here's the catch. Here's the catch. Last time, we were delivering a chainsaw to one of the secluded house in this forest and we are fine. We are safe. We do not have any events triggered, okay? We save up on our social battery and right now, I think it looks as deserted as that previous house where we deliver the chainsaw so my bet is that this is going to be another empty house oh god it looks so scary <gasps> okay wait what is that sound D did you guys hear that sound sound that sounds like a typewriter sound? Wait, please don't tell me there is someone in the house. Knock knock. Oh no. Cutscene? It's a cutscene. Ah, yes, yes, yes. He could only look on in sheer terror as Madeline threw the key straight into the lake. Oh yes. <laughs> this is good stuff. Um, important delivery. Important delivery. Oh, no, for no. Christ's sakes, go away. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. So, so rude. Excuse me? You haven't told me anything. I'm, I'm new here. Oh, bloody heck. Do I sound like I care? You lot are all the same to me. Just go away. How many yokels are there in this backwater town? Do they realize people come out to these kinds of places because they're supposed to be remote and quiet? That is offensive. 
I'm... You know what? You know what? Maybe we can just deliver the package by throwing it to the window. Like, just throw it to the window, crash, and then the package landed on his face. I hope. And, and what is it with the writer writing about the lake? Okay, when it comes to writer, Lake, and a girl, my mind just automatically thinks up of Alan Wake. And is this like a reference to Alan Wake? Please tell me it's not because I'm not going to stay around in this place if this is a reference to Alan Wake, okay? I mean, it's a horror game. Alan Wake is a horror game and it's actually one of the amazing horror games. I'm very impressed with the story. Yes, I watch the, someone's gameplay. <laughs> I do watch horror gameplay. And... Oh my god, I'm definitely not staying around if this is like a soft reference to... Oh, to Alan Wake, okay? I don't want to get involved in any kind of horror things that could happen when you mention Alan Wake. Although, although I can see the connection, Alan Wake's story is mostly focused on lake. Yes, on the huge lake that is surrounding a cabin. Yes, and this game as well, it's a focus on a town surrounding this huge lake. So yes, lake to lake, I guess. But yeah, maybe you shouldn't mail order anything, sir, if you don't want to be disturbed. Excuse me, I mean... Well, I don't know what is inside this package, but maybe I should just take it with me then? Sir, hmm? if you don't want to be disturbed, don't mail order anything? Yes! I can fight you all day. Let's go. <sighs> I, I do beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. I, yes, I am expecting a package. I didn't know you were from the postal service, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I win that argument just like that. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I win that argument because he is so rude, okay, to someone who has like spent their way, spent their time to make sure to deliver your package even though it's their job. <sighs> okay. All right, and yet you started shouting. You didn't know anything about me before you started uh -huh. shouting. And yet you did it anyway. All right, all right, I'm sorry. It's just... I've been under a lot of pressure lately from my publisher, uh -huh. as well as my wife. I do appreciate your driving all the way up here. And Lord knows I'll be needing those ribbons. Just please leave them on the porch and... Uh, thank you. Okay. Well, at least, at least he says sorry and he says thank you. I think that's the basic etiquette of talking with other people, asking for a favor. Yes, so let's just, okay, call it even. Okay, let's just let it slide for now. And you're welcome, sir. And I see that your wife is still alive and not drowning in lakes, so I guess we are safe from Alan Week. Yes, spoiler alert, I'm sorry. <laughs> For those of you that haven't watched or played Alan Week, that is one spoiler alert, I'm so sorry. Alright, you're welcome, sir. You're welcome, sir. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Alright, now, oh, where no. was I? She threw the key in the lake, then what happens? Christ's sake, she made me lose my bloody train of thought. No, wait, I got it. And then he says... Sir, are you trying to copy Alan Wake's story? Please don't, okay? Although that is such a brilliant plot, I would have to say. Okay, at least one package delivered. We got to meet with a writer that is suspiciously... Suspiciously sounds like Alan Wake. I hope it's not. And all right. Well, it's not the sound of his voice. It's more like the way he talk is like referring to Alan Wake. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the post office. Okay, our day is ending, and let's go back to the post office. Okay, and that event is actually so fun. I enjoy that, and that actually lessened the fear that I have in me so i'm less scared now 
Okay, Raven Way. Okay, one three nine Raven Way. I'll remember that. I hope I get to talk and meet with the writer again. I hope. Wait, where am I? Oh, I'm so far down here. Okay. Although, although this wood is still is still creepy, and I would like nothing more than to get out from this wood. So let's step on the gas goose and let's get out from here. Okay, Famonos, let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Where should we go? Left or right? Mm, maybe a right because we come from the left, right? So we'll just do like one full circle around the town. I think that's what we have been doing all this time. We actually make like a full circle of the town. Oh no, we're passing by the motel. Wait, wait, let me let me do my usual daily greeting of the model guy who is dating his own PC. Excuse me. No, I don't even I don't even know if that is his PC or that is the model's PC. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Okay. Oh, I got reset. Alright. That's alright. At least I honk at him. And yes, because if it is Motel's PC, if it's not his PC, that means he has been cheating with the PC. Oh my god, the complicated relationship of a guy with a PC. Alright, let's go. Alright, we're getting close to this intersection. Alright, and let me turn right here. Okay. Oh, be careful, sir. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Be careful, sir! Oh my god, I almost crashed at him. Okay. Alright, and we are back in the past office. And it's actually still... Oh my god, in the middle of the afternoon... When I'm finished with my delivery. Well, okay, it's alright. At least we are... F oh, wait, what? Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Oh my gosh, you scared me. Yikes, you creep! Uh, <laughs> I like you that. keep giving me jump scares. What? <laughs> okay, what? what? Don't try to be a wise guy. Or a wise gal, Miss Weiss. <laughs> I can't help being a wise gal, okay, sir? I can't help being a Sorry. wise gal. Very funny. That's also oh, yeah? what your dad used to say. I'll continue. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Huh? Why? Wow, what? What? that is so fast though. I think I got him as a supervisor just like two days. Two days, right? Dear, in the painting, we only have him as supervisor for two days. Okay, that is the quickest supervisor change ever in the world. That should be in the Guinness Book World of Record. Or did I mess up the spelling? I think I did mess up the order of the words. Okay, fine. And yes, will, will Frank be coming back oh, then? Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Stern, so uptight. It's like talking to a brick wall. Talking to Walter Morgan. I can't like break through his defense. Hello? Okay, hi, hello? Hi, hello? BK. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Good, you're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and mm -hmm. I don't normally bother you like this, but I'm kind of in a huge pickle at the moment, and now I'm imagining being inside of a huge pickle. Thanks, brain. Oh, wait, what's up? <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert mm -hmm. for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's oh. Journey, so I'm like, I need to go tonight, and I got these tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night, and I promise you I've called everyone and their brother. Besides, they're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Okay, okay, so I think we are going to babysit tonight and we are going to cat sit tomorrow. 
So the theme of this video, I think, because we are going to play like usual two days in Lake, is sitting. Not like sitting in your office, sitting inside your car. We are baby and cat sitting. We are caretaking of everyone's children, whether it's human children or it's Fallon children. Yes. And K inside voice, K. K uh -huh. inside voice, K inside voice. <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R and I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. Okay, All calm right, down. Recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor mm -hmm. and watch Grace and Max tonight. Yeah, yeah, and it's fine. Don't worry, I'll babysit tonight. I understand, like, she's a parent, and there are a lot of things that she sacrificed before. Just, just from what she's saying, just from our little chit chat, yes, our besties to besties chat on the watchtower, I can understand how it feels, so... Yes, it's fine. Don't worry. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your fun. I'll babysit tonight. I'll suffer in your place, bestie. Leave your children to me. I will suffer for you. Just tonight, though. Hey, okay. it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, mm -hmm. serious? That would help me out in such a big way. And yes! Totally big time. Huge! It's okay. It's okay. And what time do you meet? Do you need me? No problem. So, what time do you need me? You're a lifesaver. As soon as you can make it. You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. That's not covered anything. Okay, I need PC. Okay, food, the drinks, and PC. What All about right. the PC? Who wants s'mores? This is necessity, okay? Hello? Okay. And just like that, the day passed. Hey, hey, hey. guess who's back? Frank? Oh, Frank! Welcome back! Although, oh my god, the whole thing is still confusing to me. Like, what happens with him and Walter Morgan? What is their history? What is it with the envelope? With the postcard business thingy? I'm still confused, okay? I still don't know what happened. But I'm so glad to see you again! Hello, Frank! I'm so glad to see you again. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy to be here again. Mm -hmm. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. <laughs> Wait, I guess I can't blame him, yeah. I guess I can't blame him. Oh well, he'll never get his way here. Yeah, what what happened the last few days? What happened what actually? What happened the last few days? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Oh, this sounds very juicy. You know, I still don't understand what is happening, but I'm not going to just jump onto the straightforward asking whether or not they are criminals. No. Ooh, this sounds very juicy. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. What? Lawsuit? Lawsuit? Frank? No, isn't that wrong? Fra I don't understand what is it with the lawsuit, with the problem. Oh my god. I'm here and so far that I know like the things that I remember is just mostly on Kay, mostly on Angie, Robert and I think that's already so much problem and there is this hidden problem that I don't understand there is this still hidden mysteries like who is Frank and what is he doing with the other senior citizen I don't know, okay? So, yeah, isn't this all just really wrong? I mean, lawsuit? Yeah, I mean, Walter Morgan is like your kind of streak stern person that is maybe quite hard to get along well, quite hard to negotiate, I would say, but lawsuit, Frank? 
But Frank, isn't this all just really wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Meredith, it's just a bit of harmless fun. Well, I can't say that I haven't enjoyed the drama. I enjoy it, okay? Can't say that I haven't enjoyed the drama. All right, time to get back in the saddle. Have a great day, Meredith. Okay, oh gosh. Meredith's death! What is it? What is happening in this postal service of Providence Oaks? What mystery lies here? Oh my god. Okay, let me talk to Frank. Let me talk to Frank. Okay. Hello? Frank? It wouldn't be surprised if we got another Lakers Celtics matchup in the finals. Okay, that is another baseball team, I would say. Another baseball team, another baseball gambling. Alright, so let's check up our schedule for the day. I remember that today we have to cat sit the cats in um, Grandma Mildred's house. Yes. And oh, for the parcels, there is not much of parcels to be delivered actually. Although when it comes to letters, that is like another... Oh gosh, that is another... Mm. One forces us to go to Robert. Okay, we are going to meet with Robert. I think he is the only one that lives in Bear Creek. And when forces us to go inside the cabin in the woods again. And I think this time we are not going to meet with that writer that we haven't seen his face yet. But yeah, alright. Our first destination, I think, should be, yes, these few letters and parcels. Wait, let me put a waypoint over there. Okay. Wait, isn't this like the uh, case house? It's not case house. Okay. Let me... Okay. A very yeah, good inside. morning, Providence Oak. Mm -hmm. Tokyo, positive for that tea. I wonder what it'll be today. Mm -hmm. Actually, no. Nancy, the floor is yours. Yeah, Jack, I've got a pet peeve. Why do people start fake <laughs> coughing when I'm smoking in my store? Okay. If you don't like it, just leave. Mm -hmm. Thank you much, Nancy. And, well, if you're asking... It's mm -hmm. not like people have other places to go besides the Excuse me, sir, move away. Store. On to the weather forecast. Sunny <laughs> in the first half of the day okay. and clouds in the second. Back to the playlist. Thank you, Jack Reynolds. All right. And yeah, I just realized, like, um, that the Nancy, the name that I remember, actually belongs to the lady who is, like, the shopkeeper of the general store here. And her pet peeve is that someone keeps fake coughing when she smokes inside the store. I guess I can understand because when it comes down to it, she will make like a lot of visitors to the shop like passive smoker, yes? And from what I know, from what I know and from what people told me is that it is more dangerous than being an active smoker yourself. Alright, so maybe that's everyone's way to tell her like Aha, aha, please don't turn me into passive smoker, aha, like that I don't know though <laughs> Alright We are going here, oh my god I still can't get over the few, okay I really, really love the few here Ooh, yeah, this is Kay's house Okay, let me borrow your... Okay, a little bit. Okay. Hello. Bestie's car. Just a little crash to greet my bestie's car. And a little honk. Oh no. I get transported here. Okay, back up, back up. Okay. And stop. Alright. 402 Pine Street. Okay, 402 Pine Street. Alright. Also, I wonder what time, like what year this is because I got 
Well, not that much parcel, so I'm guessing this is not like an online shop era already because if it's online shop, I wouldn't be walking around with like two or five parcels only. I will be walking with 100 parcels to be delivered, okay? And I can be a, an Uber food as well, I think. All right, knocking the door. Bestie! Hello, Bestie! Driving along oh, she's the highway. Singing. Uh -huh. Hello? Friday delivery day. Ah. Well, just call me Friday Delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. <laughs> Someone's in a good mood today. <gasps> yes. Thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. Mm -hmm. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. No problem, no problem, but it was, no, there is no pro, no, no, wait, hmm, the option is that I have to, like, pretend that they are great children, even though they are probably a lot like a bunch of devil spawn, or... Should I just vaguely trying to say, like, it was an... Uh, 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 interesting evening. I think we should go with interesting evening. Okay, it's, it's like a fact whether or not it's like a bad <laughs> babysitting experience or is it a good babysitting experience? Yeah. It was a, mm -hmm. an interesting evening. Funny, Grace said the exact same thing. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay. How was the concert, Bestie? How is the concert that I sacrifice my patience for your children? Hmm? I hope you enjoy that. How was the concert? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Mm -hmm. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Uh-huh. That sounds Ooh, great. That sounds great. Okay. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey mm -hmm. was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. <laughs> spleen for tickets, okay. Still into music, huh? Still into music, huh? Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cindy Lauper, or Run DMC, or Stevie Wonder. And before Aww. you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and Hammond organs right now. Ah, hmm, wait, 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 hmm, I would never, I would never. <gasps> I would never. All jokes aside though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my own music for a while now. Kids, work, all that stuff. Ah. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know, not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs <laughs> at this stage, to be honest. Oh, this is... Okay, let me let me teach you about... <laughs> this is not a teaching, but let me tell you about the status quo of every girl's relationship in the world. Okay, even though we are married, even though we have a boyfriend, even though we have a crush, best friend bestie comes first it is at the top of every girl's list okay bestie best friend comes first okay so right now it is time to assert our dominance against her husband against barry by telling Kay that we will be the first to hear her music okay and we will flex it, okay, in front of Barry's face next time we meet, okay? That is how it works, okay? <laughs> Alright, yes, I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. I'd love great. to hear your music sometime. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was yes. thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something mm -hmm. I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. I would be honored. Give it to me. Give me your tapes, okay? I I like hear a sneak peek of her singing voice just now when I knock on her door. And I already love it, okay? Fork over your tape, okay? I will listen to them. I'd, I'd be, be honored. honored. That's mm -hmm. great. It's just something I've been playing around with 
Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? You'll be my secret special audience of one. So I can get used to the idea of an audience. Ooh, any special reason? No, I already know. Does it have anything to do with the open mic event on Sunday evening? Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking of performing a song on my new ah! synth this Sunday. Holy okay. crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Of course, of course. I mean, it's a fun event, okay? And now that I know that Kay is probably going to treat us with her singing voice on that open mic event, of course, wild horses or wild deers, I'm sorry, Dung Dung, couldn't drag me away. Of course, okay? that's mm -hmm. great. Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But that's yes, cool, yes, yeah? yes. No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. Back to my own journey for now! <laughs> I love that joke! I love that joke! That is a fun pun, okay, developer? Back to my own journey for now. Haha! <laughs> nope, ignoring that. No. Bye now! <laughs> no! Bestie, don't run! That's not my joke, I promise you. That's the developer's joke, okay? Blame the gamiest team for that, not me, okay? I do not make that joke, but I find that fun, okay? <laughs> joke okay i like that joke okay all right so whew. you know what they say about when you meet up with your best friend and then you like have a talk with them spend time with them and you feel like you are energized like your social battery just charge up your mood just improve that is how i feel after seeing meredith's and case talking in their interaction just now okay it boosted me up okay <laughs> i i feel like my social battery just charged up from that simple chit chat that simple exchange between the two of them and that's what best friend is okay you talk with them you meet up with them and you're happy it just feels like oh i'm i'm uh, so happy and that is what I feel right now, okay? Alright, let's go deliver more letters and more parcels. Although I'm not looking forward to deliver letters back to the cabin in the woods, yes? Alright, oh wait, I just realized that I think we are going to have to do like one full turn around the town again. Should I go to here first or should I go here first? Hmm. I think I will go here first. So I will go to Mr. Mackey's house and deliver his parcels. I'm guessing more scene with him. And then we are going to the cabin in the woods down there before delivering letter to Robert and then deliver two more letters to the neighborhood around my house, I suppose. All right, and don't forget that today we have to watch Mildred's cats, okay? Don't forget that, okay? It's cat time, cat sitting time, as long as it's not cat map that we are cat sitting. Wait, um, turning here, okay? Hello, dear statue! Hong Hong! Okay, let me turn left here. And let me go to Mr. Mackey's house. Okay, I wonder what what is it that we have for him? He has for us. Well, we both have for each other. Alright, I should be going down the slope here all right oh i can feel my driving getting really really better with time oh that's mr mackey oh okay mr mackey hold on mr mackey i have a package for you wait why is it uh oh yeah th this is the only package that i have folks left order? mr mackey hello oh my god does he not see me mr mackey package why are you walking there, Mr. Mackey? Why, why does it seem like you are running away from me, Mr. Mackey? 
Please, I want to go with you, Mr. Maki. Oh, he's going toward his boat. Okay. Stand there, Mr. Maki. Okay. I'm coming near you. Be careful. Okay. I don't want to slip and make the package fall into the water. Okay. Ah, the wax worms have arrived. Huh? Worms? Ew! Ew! Have I been walking around with worms? Oh, we... <laughs> you sure have. They're just in time. I'm taking the boat to the island this afternoon. Oh, nice! A boat trip. <laughs> and he sounds so happy that I'm like that when Meredith is like disgusted with the fact that she is carrying around a worms. Oh, nice! A boat trip. Mm -hmm. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. Ooh. I'm not helping you with any wax worms. We can? Sounds like fun. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Oh, wait, wait. Um, is it all right for me to make that, to answer that? Because we have an appointment with Mrs. Mildred. Yes, with Grandma Mildred to watch over her cats. But it's on 7 p.m. Is it okay for me to go ride a boat on 4 p.m.? No, I'm I'm worried now. Is it all right for me to do that? Hmm. Okay. I hope I hope I hope it's fine. I hope it's fine. And oh gosh, I have a worms inside my truck. Goose, we are getting a worms just now. I'll wash you. Pat pat. I'll wash you, Goose. I promise. Pat pat. I'm patting you, okay, Goose? Don't worry. After this, okay, once I receive my payment, we are taking a visit to the nearest car cleaner, okay? We are going to clean you, okay? Wash you from all those worms, even though it's in a package, okay? And yeah, let's try to oh my god go all the way down there to the cabin in the woods yes to the cabin in the woods and hopefully not come out that yes all right let's go continue on on our way oh mouse diner hong hong mouse diner all right <laughs> Oh yeah, what about that guy? That guy who like bring uh, this gadget around that he uses to, I don't know, collect signs from the ground trying to do his treasure hunting? Is he here? I don't know who is he and where can I find him? And I don't think there is like a specific scene that involves him. It's not like he has a house in Providence Oaks and then I come knocking on his door to deliver his package. I don't think so. But I don't know who is he. Although he is a fun character but I already forgot his name. Because yeah, he appears so less that that's what happened. I forgot his name. Okay, we are nearing the motel. As usual, of course, let's do our daily honking. This is the time when we are going to visit the Oregon Motel and we hung on the guy who is taking care of the motel right now, okay? Alright, entering the motel. Alright, turning right here. And wait, excuse me and let me on you excuse me okay so satisfying <laughs> oh my god oh this is the wonder of honking okay just one long honk take out your stress away I think so far from this game, we have learned that there are two things that we can do to lessen our stress. First is to have a nice time, like time spent with our bestie, our best friend. And the second is to just hung at everyone. 
express your hung like a long long time and produce a long honking sound and you feel like your stress your anxiety just lift up okay like whoo, after that honking it's just like cool all the stress go away <laughs> all right and i think this is the house yes i believe for a male one time to this house and I'm pretty sure there is no scene that is going to involve me to talk, yeah? Hmm, these look like bills. Okay, but what kind of bills that this cabin has? That cabin doesn't even look like it has uh, electric, yeah? Doesn't have a running electric. Yeah, okay, let me go, okay, make a turn here. Okay, excuse me, excuse me. I'm a little bit in a rush here. Oh no, did I get stuck? <gasps> I got stuck! <laughs> wait, wait! Please don't tell me that I got stuck. Excuse me? No? <gasps> I, I got stuck! I really, really got stuck. See? See? You can see like my wheels moving. Like I keep pressing on my console. My No, not my console. My controller. Oh my god. My controller and nothing. There is nothing. Well, no, I can't go anywhere. It's like going forward. I can't. Going backward, I can't too. You know what? I'll just do... I'll just finally use the honking things properly, okay? Because this honking can actually reset you as well. This long honking. Alright. I'm back. I'm back everyone, I'm back to the road, okay, and let's go, wait, let me check, yeah, let's go to Bear Creek and deliver our letter, okay, alright, Bear Creek, Robert, I'm coming, let's go, full speed, okay, full speed to the Bear Creek, okay, step on the gas, Alright, step on the gas, but make sure that it's not too much. We don't want any extreme crash. Alright, this is Lake. Okay, a relaxing, calming game, not fast and furious. Okay, going forward, going forward. Alright, turning left here a little bit. Okay, oh, I can see. Okay, we are going to turn left. Here, ooh, I'm so pro now. With those speed, I can turn left so fast, so quick. All right, straight away. All right, straight out over the bridge. Okay, and we are going up this slope. Okay, I remember the road to this place now. Okay. Well, I do hope that the guy who lives here isn't here, but let me just make sure. I think no one's here. Or, or, it could be that the Hong is going to make him wake up, okay? Meredith. Oh no, he's here. Okay, and he's dressed in blue, but still with that kind of t-shirt. Okay, I think you need a visit to Uniqlo, sir. I think you need a visit to Uniqlo. Hey, Robert! Hey, Robert! Hi. How are you? I was away for a few days on an urgent job out of state. Yeah, it's, I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's I'm the good. mail. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks, and likewise. Mm-hmm. Mm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Okay. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, Concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided uh -huh. to postpone the construction of apartments what? for at least six what? months. We hope this satisfies you mm -hmm. as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Wait, wait, I'm, I'm happy with that news, okay? Don't get me wrong, I'm so happy with that news, but did you just mention that you're spamming their phone? Yes? You're spamming their message? You're spamming their inbox? 
unfiltered and what is it again i i forgot but basically the unfiltered part that's what like gets me like did they just floated their inbox their telephone with curses and and all of those kind of things like terrorizing them yeah but you're so happy for oh, you robert great. so happy for you robert mm -hmm. we need to celebrate this uh, how about tomorrow night steak dinner at mm -hmm. most or something else on me <gasps> steak dinner steak dinner oh i would love that steak dinner oh, okay i'd love that great it's gonna be fun see you tomorrow night then Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. <laughs> the telephone troops need to know that the assault can be abandoned. Oh my god, they are literally terrorizing the telephone of that apartment company, yes? Oh my god. But yes, yeah, stick dinner! Stick dinner! Let me check my schedule. Stick dinner! Huh? Dinner date with Robert? Wait, that's wrong! That's not dinner date with Robert. Do not call it dinner date with Robert. The only date that I'm having tomorrow night is me with the stick, okay? It's only me and the stick, okay? I mean, it's stick, okay? I can't reject a stick. You know how delicious a stick is. I got baited by that stick, okay? I don't, I don't realize that it's actually a date. The only date that I'm having tomorrow night, okay, I have to make this clear to you guys, is with the steak, okay? With the steak, the delicious, juicy, tender steak, okay? Not with Robert, okay? I don't know why the game categorizing it as steak, as dinner date with Robert when it's actually dinner date with steak. I don't understand. This is a bug, okay? This is a typo. Okay, developer? Thank you. The only day that we are having tomorrow night is with the steak. And oh gosh, I hope... I hope that we will not meet anyone tomorrow at most diner. Although, it is most likely that we will either meet with Maureen or... Wait, can I walk? Can I go through this road? Yeah, I can actually. Yeah, let me just go through this road. I think I never try going on this road anyway. But yeah, it could be either Maureen or Kay because I think they have like an alternate ship. Shift, they alternate their shift with each other. So, oh gosh, no, I don't want them to misunderstand, okay? I'm still hanging up on Angie, okay? I am still hoping that she will stay, that we will be together, okay? I'm... I miss Angie! I'm sad! I'm sad, Goose! I miss Angie, okay? Oh, I miss the time we spend when she's talking about all those movies and Meredith just dumb when it comes to movies, okay? She can do like tic-tac, tic-tac on her keyboard, but she can't understand what is tic-tac, tic-tac and movie summary on tic-tac, okay? This should be the house, okay? 203 Walnut, okay? And the next one should be our last letter for the day. And actually, I'm still afraid that I might miss out on Mildred's appointment that I might miss out on the cat sitting. If they like giving me the option to choose between should I go with Mr. Mackey or should I go with well cat sitting Miss Mildred's cat, I think I would go with cat sitting the grandma Mildred because I did make a promise for I'm her. Calling it a day. Mm hmm I'm calling it a day. It is finished for today, Meredith. You can go back home and enjoy the rest of your evening socializing with people. Rape to your social battery, Meredith. Okay? But yes, I would prioritize having to watch the cat over going with Mr. Mackey. 
Not because I love the cats, I love cats of course, but because I do promise Grandma Mildred first. Okay, I did not realize that when I make that choice with Mr. Mackie that I'm I have to go with him as well. So yeah, I hope I can do both at the same time and not having to choose. But if I have to choose, I will 100% definitely choose to watch over the cats. Alright, we're done for the day. Alright, let's end work day. See you later, Goose. Okay. Oh, we are fishing automatically? Is that alright? Can I, can I so, go back in time? Mm -hmm. Is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? Okay. Quick, 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 Fishing quick. requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. <laughs> okay, and that's the nice thing about fishing? And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. Okay. Um, but yes, I find it hard to relax sometimes. I think this answer would fit Meredith so much because she does look tense all the time. She looks like she's on guard all the time, like she can't rest. So yeah, I, I would choose to go to with that. Mm -hmm. Fishing also requires silence. Mm. Uh, okay. Please don't. I like Bert, talking. Can I ask you a question? <sighs> yes. Wait, wait, wait. Um. What is that question about? Do you like Maureen? What is that question? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, if it's Mildred, I can understand, okay? Because Grandma Mildred often send her six her sick cats to him. Yes. When whenever her cat is feeling unwell, I think she is going to deliver her cats to him. But about Maureen, I don't think I have seen them interact in any kind of way at all so far and i feel like we are getting close to the ending we're getting close to the end so i think asking the third question is going to get me being thrown off the boat down to the lake and that's when we are going to remake alan week three okay <laughs> no no and about life should i ask him about that about life about life Life, huh? I'll tell you about it. Okay. When I was young, I joined the Navy. Oh. Saw more in one year than anyone should have to see in an entire lifetime. Ah. Uh... We ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Okay. Is that a good thing? He did open up to us about his time in the Navy. Alright. Hmm. Wait, do we have enough time to go cat sitting? I'm worried now. I'm really, really worried. Okay. Oh, that's gay sound. <clears throat> okay. Mm hmm. Driving along the highway, headlights light up the signs. Ooh. Thinking of what might have been, radio keeps track of time. Oh, wait, a phone? Okay. Please don't tell me that's Grandma Mildred. Hi, Meredith. Oh, Steve. Guess what I shine today. Mm, okay, the contracts for the added 87 deal. The contracts for the added 87 deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company. And 
I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you, and I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant wow. pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Wow. No, this is this is actually a bit of a surprise, but I think I can see where this is going. All right, yes. This is a bit of a surprise. Uh -huh. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million-dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Oh, yeah, I guess, I guess I know. I have a feeling where this is going. Oh, we still have time to Good watch evening, the game. Feline friends. Oh, uh -huh. that's going to keep you company tonight. Go Please here. don't say it like Kiki. that. Ow. <laughs> oh, she gets scratched. I think she gets scratched. And please don't say it like that, Meredith. You sounds creepy, okay? You sounds like a cat a mapper. From Angie. Oh, oh! Miss Angie? Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. Mm hmm It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. Mm hmm I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. Mm -hmm. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear I you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if... Little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Hmm. She's still thinking about the kiss, alright? So happy to know about that. So happy that the kiss stays on her mind. Thank you. I'm proud of you, Meredith. You might be a little bit off. Pants, yes, but you have a skill with your kissing, I think. <laughs> but yes, alright. I think that's it for this video. We have spent two days in Lake, yes. And the next one, in the next one, will be the day where we have our dinner date with Stick. I repeat, with Stick, okay, not with Robert. And the open mic event on Sunday. I'm so excited, okay? I'm so excited because I feel like we are going to listen to K-Song. And we are going to see a lot of cutscene as well. But of course, that is going to have to wait until another day and in another video. And as usual, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below about what your thoughts about this game or this video. Or I guess anything that you want to share with anyone who is watching this and reading the comment section as well and if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and if you like my content and would like to watch me play more games like this feel free to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on the update and yes i think that's it oh sorry everyone thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye bye, -bye meredith bye goose Okay, be careful of the rain out. Wait, is the rain already? No, it's still raining. Okay. Yeah, we'll just close this here because it's raining outside. Okay, bye!